my life experience, I've only had one real key relationship with an elephant. Now, I know most people don't have experiences with elephants, but in the ashram in India, there was this big Indian elephant called Vijay. And he and I had a variety of interactions. In my many assignments, work assignments, I was actually at one point assigned to guard him. Now, I wasn't guarding him. I was actually guarding him from hurting anyone else. Because occasionally, if somebody would get too close to VJ, he may pick them up with his trunk and crash them onto the ground. So guarding him was really important to be able to do. So over time, VJ and I began to have this communication going, but it varied. Because it, uh, when we were done, when I was done with my shift, I would say goodnight to him, and he uh, usually we did pretty well. But one day, as I kind of touched his trunk through the window, the whole stall was open, but on the side there's a little window with bars. He grabs my arm. My arm is stuck like this, and the bars are like this, and easily he could have snapped my arm. I said, VJ. You don't want to break my arm. Please let go. Not of course. And he let go. And so it was like a little awkward. And then there was a time when a lot of people would get a ride on VJ. And so I asked Mukhananda if my son and I, my son who was eight years old, could get a ride on VJ. He said, no, it's not going to be safe for you. Didn't make a lot of sense of what he was saying. But he always seemed to know the relationships of animals and humans. So we took his advice. I'm not going to go against that. And the last incident I had with Vijay is he would walk through the ashram with some riders. One of the riders, like Joe Don Mooney, former All-American football player. And Joe Don's riding him, and I'm kind of walking minding my business, but kind of near VJ, and suddenly he turns around and starts chasing me, really. And I just got out of there as soon as possible, went down an alleyway where he, he couldn't fit, and that was it. But for some reason, VJ and myself didn't quite have the right vibes. I'm not really sure what it was, but when you're playing with elephants, you got to be sure <laughs> you're in the right relationship. So it's a lesson that we need to tune in, a lesson for me, of course, that I need to tune in always to my environment, and whether it's a human or it's an animal or a big elephant like VJ, pay attention. Later on, VJ was acting out more, not with me, and eventually got sent away. And actually, they attacked some people, and he had to be put down. So he wasn't the most human-friendly elephant around. But what I'm saying is I needed to pay a little bit more attention to my environment and working with in animals who may were very powerful, who may could really hurt you. And it's like, even though you have good feelings, it's like, Pay attention. I wasn't listening to the subtle messages that I was getting from VJ. So I learned, pay attention in whatever circumstance.